Okay, so I know you read the title, so I know you know that today's video is gonna be about none other than that thing between your thighs. If you're a female, it's your vagina, that cave of wonders. I'll be thinking, what the heck, Dominique? Why do you feel the need to make a video on vaginas? Well, let's just be girlfriends and let's just talk about it, you know? Like I said, you hit that subscribe button, so you're not my friend. And we're gonna talk about vaginas. That's what friends do. Okay, so the first thing about vaginas that we should talk about is what do they smell like? A lot of people, since I watch these vagina videos on YouTube, and you know what? If you search vagina videos, about a thousand of those videos pop up. Like literally 999. But if you search these videos and people talk about the smell of vaginas, a lot of people, like men, say vaginas smell like fish, they're tangy, they're tart. Wait, that's not a smell, that's a taste. Well, let's talk about that too. Well, I don't think that, well for one, I know that all vaginas have their own smell. Not all vaginas smell the same, and not all vaginas taste the same. So for one, you need to know that I'm a twin, and my twin's not gonna have the same vagina makeup and chemistry as me. So hers is gonna smell the same way as mine do. And all vaginas don't taste the same. A lot of people think that vaginas taste fishy because they smell fishy, they taste sour, they taste tart. What? I mean, these must be men making these comments because I can't believe a female who owns a vagina would describe her vagina as tasting tart. The smell and taste of your vagina also goes by what you eat. Now let's talk about this pineapple trend. Girl, I heard a lot of people are liking to eat fresh pineapple so that their hoo-ha smells like a lot of great fresh sweet things. That just isn't true. It just That's just not how it works. You can't eat a pineapple and think that your vagina is gonna smell like pineapple. That means my vagina should've been smelling like a whole bunch of fucking Skittles by now. And that's just not garlic and oil. Yogurt have, they all include good bacteria. So you eat that stuff in your regular diet every day or every other day, diet. <laughs> you eat that stuff and it keeps your body having good bacteria. Therefore down there, it's on track. Speaking of garlic, if you have a nice little yeast infection brewing down south, you can take a whole garlic clove and tie a piece of dental string to it and shove it up your vagina. Well, shove sounds really harsh. I don't mean shove in a hard way, but you know, kind of like a tampon, a crotch rocket, you know what I mean? So if you do that, take the garlic and tie some dental floss on it and shove it, mm, slide it in your vagina, that can cure yeast infection. You can just use, um, change your garlic clove every 12 hours. Now, don't pierce the garlic clove because then you're gonna have all types of new infections. And I'm pretty sure that would just burn like fuck. So don't do that, but do it my way and you help you clear yeast infections without a doctor bill. Always thinking. And if your idiot ass boyfriend or partner tells you that your vagina doesn't smell right, it should be smelling like pineapples, you tell him to go fuck a pineapple. All vaginas smell differently. Don't let a man tell you that your vagina doesn't smell right, okay? That just doesn't make sense. Now also from my research, I've seen a lot of people say that vaginas taste like rhubarb. The fuck is rhubarb? Um, I never ate a rhubarb and I don't really know what rhubarb is, but I googled it and this is rhubarb. I mean, I guess your vagina tastes and smells delicious because people make fucking pies out of this and the pies look delicious. So I'm not gonna judge, but if vagina tastes like rhubarb, I'm not gonna contest it. Rhubarb it is. So let's talk about cleaning our vaginas. So a lot of women run to the shower and scrub, scrub, scrub their vaginas because they want it to smell like that jasmine and wildflowers when they get out, when truthfully all those harsh soaps are doing are ruining the bacteria in your vagina and causing you to have a bad smell anyways. So you're gonna run back to the store and buy more expensive feminine wash to smell like honeysuckle, when then actually after a couple hours you're just gonna smell like the vagina you had hours before you showered. So the proper way to clean your vagina is to not shove soap inside your vagina. For one, I'm pretty sure that will burn. And two, like I said, it destroys all the good bacteria and it's just gonna make you smell worse. You can clean your vagina with soap on the outside, like if you choose to have hair on your vagina. Well, most people sweat, so you might want to clean some soap on the outside, but never soap on the inside. And to clean your, your, your urethra, 
the pee hole. Don't put soap on your pee hole. Again, burn it. And then two, that'll cause you to have a bacteria infection. So don't do that. All you need to do is take your hands and splash water on your pee hole, because I can't say the real word for it, and splash water, water and clean the bacteria and sweat from around your pee hole. Now another thing that I find that works for me, cause we're gonna go a little bit TMI because you're my girlfriends and that's what we do on this channel. And if you don't wanna be my girlfriend and talk about vaginas, then why are you even watching this video? Get off my channel. But a little thing that I find that works for me because I am a mommy who pees when I laugh. So I find one thing that works for me so I won't smell like piss all damn day is this cleaning spray right here. Now, you know, like Dominique, how the f freak did you get this well um, I've been going to the hospital a lot lately and when I stay over at the hospital for some reason they always put me in the labor and delivery ward now let me think about this why the fuck do I go to labor and delivery when I go do they think I'm pregnant anyways so I go to labor and delivery ward when I go to the, when I have to stay over to the hospital for my um, epilepsy and whatnot whatever's going on and I found out that I was a kleptomaniac because I stocked up on these things I had this here cleanser when I gave birth to my daughter you know when your lady bits are like stretch junk you have stitches you're bleeding it's just all fucked up because you gave birth to a human and they give you this spray to cleanse the blood off your stitches and all that stuff and it feels like heaven when you pee and you spray this down there okay so I got this, I pretty much got this because I wanted that feeling again without the stitches. And then I realized this club cleans your pee area all day long every time you go pee so that you don't carry that pee smell because I mean, if you're a regular and you don't pee a little bit when you laugh or sneeze or cough or think, or breathe, then you won't really need this. But for me, it helps keeping the keep the pee pee smell down. The pee pee smell, that's gross, but you know what I mean. It helps you feel like an adult, an adult, and you don't have to go change your panty liner every 15 minutes because you smell like fucking piss, okay? So that's another good thing to do uh, in between showers and baths. If you need to, water. This is pretty much water with just a little bit of, um, well, let's read it. It says, no rinse, one step cleansing, cleanser for your What's a premium? Oh, is that like when you have a baby? Okay, for that area. Gently removes urine, feces, or other bodily fluids, reduces odor, a pH buffer, pediatric tested, CHG compatible. I should probably have really looked up half of the stuff that's on here, but when it says it cleans out urine, this is my type of stuff. Like I said, I became a klepto because I got like four from the hospital. I mean, I pay for it, right? Why not? Lastly, let's talk about our periods because what's a good vagina video if we don't talk about our periods? That thing that fucking annoys the life out of us every freaking month. Well, if you're pregnant, then you get to not have that. That's the only joy of being pregnant that I found. The other thing that I found helpful is this app called Clue. And this thing here is for me all the way. Because look at these big old symbols. Like, I, I'm so blind, like I'm so glad they made them this big. It helps you track your period. It tells you if your period is light, medium, whatever. It helps you track your period. It tells you when you're going to experience your period pains, when you're gonna um, want to, you know, have sex if you're ready for that baby making stage. It's gonna tell you how your mood should be. And it's gonna tell you how heavy your period might be. And also, I learned from tracking your period, you can also tell what kind of smell you're going to have if you keep up with this stuff. Like when you're in your cycle, which took me a long time to realize that your period is not just the only part of your cycle. Your cycles are normally 28 days long. That um, if you track your cycle, it'll tell you pretty much what your body's going to smell like. Like when you're in that stage right before your period comes down and you're ready to pounce on your partner, your body's going to have a significant smell. Or the other days when your period is over is also gonna have another smell because it's cleaning itself out so tracking your period is also really really important it'll like I said tell you about the smells and it just keeps you on track on what knowing what's going on down there guys right, so that concludes my vagina video and I don't think that that was pretty much already I think that was just really informative for me and it was really fun talking about vaginas I mean who does not like talking about vaginas my mom but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this or any other videos from me 
thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be getting you out a new video every Sunday because the whole three and a half months that I have my YouTube, I get a video out for you every Sunday. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Update on Callie. Look, guys, she's already doubled in the size since when we first got her. Like, she's growing, like, so good, aren't you, honey? I fed her salmon. Like some dog food, like salmon, and her breath smells like it, like all the way. That's an update on my honey girl. Aren't you a big girl? Say hi, YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. Smell her salmon breath. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. I'm Callie. Okay, I totally have dog mama voice. Say bye. Bye. Oh, Kaizy. Kaizy wants to be seen too. Say hi, Kaizy Bear. Hi, Kaizy Bear. I'm not a girl. I don't have a vagina, so I'm gonna get off of this video. Just wanted to say hi on YouTube. Okay, bye. You're freaking heavy. I fart and I taste it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> My real hair doesn't do right. That's why I wear wigs.